Two Oceans is one of the best worldwide marathon which takes place annually. The map below shows this Two Oceans marathon. So we'll study the map and answer the questions that follow. So this map is better known as the elevation map because it shows us the various heights in which the race takes place. Okay, so the first question is how many water points are present on this map? Okay, so let's indicate it. So clearly it's given to us here because we have it in words there, water point, water point, there's another water point here and there's another water point. So we have four water points. What is the difference in kilometers between the second water point and the finishing point? Okay, so our finishing point is 25 kilometers. Right, there's a dm, it's given at this point, and the second water point is 10 kilometers. So all we need to do is subtract the boat. So we have 25 kilometer minus our 10 kilometer, and the answer is. 15 kilometers. Explain why this type of map is regarded as an elevation map. Okay, so basically there's two things we could mention here is one that it gives us a profile of a route as seen from the side. So you can notice it's a side sort of a side view. The second thing we can talk about is it shows us the various heights in terms of the sea level it's relative to the sea level and you can see there's various heights given to us so therefore it's known as a elevation map so how long in meters is the two oceans marathon a simple conversions question so we know it's 25 kilometers as indicated all right from our previous question we saw it's 25 kilometers so now all we're just doing is changing it to meters and we multiply by a thousand and so it's 25,000 meters. Okay, give a reason why there are medics available on this map. Okay, the medics are indicated by this part here. The word medics alone will tell you what it means. So basically it's for helping the participants get medical attention. It's mainly for the participants. Okay. George is one of the South African runners who broke the record in the Two Oceans Marathon, finishing the race in a time of 3 hours, 38 minutes and 58 seconds. Calculate at what speed George ran to be a winner. Use the formula time is equal to distance over speed. Okay, although they've given us the formula, we know that we can say that speed is equal to distance over time, right? Because ultimately we need to find out at what speed he was running so speed is that so remember we can use this triangle right we know speed is equal to distance over time so time is equal to distance over speed right so let's use this here and let's work out how we're going to do this here right okay firstly the idea is to convert the time to hours because we want our speed final answer to be kilometer per hour so the first thing we'll do is let's work with the seconds. The seconds is 58 seconds. We need to convert this to minutes. So when you convert it to minutes, we divide by 60 and we come to an answer of 0.966666667. We can leave our answer like this for now, right? Remember this is in minutes. So now we need to take this minutes answer and include it to the minutes given to us. So we have 38 comma now remember we're going to take the decimal part nine six 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 seven right and we're going to divide by 60 because now we're converting that minutes time to hours so we arrive at an answer of zero comma six four nine right and now this answer here is in hours now okay now that we have our time in hours, all we need to do is substitute. So speed is equal to distance over time. So our distance is 25 kilometers. That's given in the information here, right? And our 
time now will be 0, 0,649 and that brings us to an answer of 6,85 kilometers per hour.